So here's a demo of how to use the Jupyter Notebooks viewer XBlock. So the first thing we'll do is add it. And then the first thing it will tell us is that we don't have a valid URL. So we'll go to edit and then we'll go get the URL of a Jupyter Notebook. So in here it's located in modules and then off the ground and interacting with Python is one of them. And we'll make sure to get a link to the raw data. We'll copy that over into the notebook URL and then we'll hit save. And so now we can see that everything's popped up. The entire notebook is currently present here. But one thing that does occur is if there are images that are linked in here that are relative linked and not absolute or embedded in the document, then they won't show up. Here's an example of that right here. So we'll go back to the source where the images are located. And then we'll make sure to get the directory or the address of the source of where the root of where all of these images will actually be located. We'll come back in here and we'll paste our image root in, deleting the object that did exist. And you'll notice if we don't end this with a slash, then we'll get an error and where it indicates that the image root must end with a slash. So we'll go ahead and make that end in a slash. Now we can see that once we get down to it, our images are now loading. So another thing we can do is display just a specific section of the notebook. So we'll go ahead and start by, uh, let's say for instance, we wanna display everything starting at Python as a calculator. So if we go back into edit and look at the start tag, we can paste in that line of text and this is normally marked down, so we'll be extra specific so that we make sure that we don't capture this text somewhere else in the document, but this entire header, and then we'll save that. And now we can see the document starts as Py or at Python as a calculator. We can just as easily do the opposite, where we want to end everything at Python as a calculator. So we can set the end tag to that and it will display everything up to that section where Python was a calculator, not including that section. Now we can remove that and we'll put it back up here. And now, for instance, if we want to display just a subsection of the notebook, for instance, only the Python as a calculator subsection, We'll come down to the next section, variables and their type, and we'll put that in as the end tag. Now you can see we're only displaying the specific subsection that we're interested in. The last thing we can do is change the height of the X block. So if there's a specific height that you would prefer for this X block, then, then that's configurable as well. We want to make sure to display, for instance, the whole X block or so. We can make it large enough that everything gets displayed in a single window. We can also edit the name of the <clears throat> X block for the student so that they'll see it as whatever is necessary.